George, baby. Yeah. What are your plans in Los Angeles? I mean, you must have thought of this. Yes, I've been thinking of this ever since we got on the plane leaving Los Angeles last year. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do? Well, you see, Los Angeles, we get a house instead of a hotel. Yeah. So that's good because we have people cooking nice food for us, making a change from the hotels. Oh, it's a real house. It's a real live living house <laughs> <laughs> and with a swimming pool and the sun by permission yeah. of of the californian government <laughs> and uh, lots of nice friends you know there's people like the mamas and the papas who uh, you know just sort of got a feeling i met a couple of them in london yeah and i think they hang around la also the birds so you know there's the people like Derek Taylor who used to work for us mm. and lots of people there who we know oh, so dropping. there's never a dull moment in LA yeah do you ever like a dull moment do you like a time where you can sit down with nobody around and just oh yeah all the time I like that yeah when I really feel like I just sort of wander off mm. yeah. into a corner and into think. a corner and just cut myself off from what's going on around. What you Otherwise, think? you go crazy. What do you think of when you cut yourself off? What do I think of? Oh, I don't know. India. I think of lots of things, you know. I, you know, not just think of nothing. This is <laughs> That's very hard to do, to be able to think of nothing, because as soon as you get nothing in your mind, you automatically try and make it into something. Yeah. You try it. Listeners, all close your eyes and try and think of nothing. No, they've got to wake up for the commercials. And they, it's hard. You, you think of nothing, then you think, oh, it's not nothing, it's a little fella on a bike. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. And so then it gives us a break from hotels. We get a couple of days off, and so it's nice. Do you find you can wander around the streets and meet oh. people <laughs> without them leaping at you? Well, it's just more or less the same as anywhere else except that the kids are all around the house instead. But usually if the house is guarded enough, then we can have enough room, mm. you know, and we can have enough peace. We can get out in L.A. We can get out really anywhere. It's just, if you want to go out, you've just got to not tell the police or security. And they don't once, mind. No, they mind, yes, but once you tell them, then you mm. can't get out because they want to want you to go out with sort of police escort and with mm. the sirens going and all that jazz. So it just wrecks it. But if you go out quietly, as if you're not really going out, then nobody knows. This is the first time you'll be actually walking outside a hotel apart from going to the concerts because you've been stuck yeah. in all this time. Yeah, but that's nothing new. You, you know, we've, last time. we've been doing that for years now. Yeah, must you know, be a drag. Every country man. we go to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it is and it isn't. You said yesterday at the press conference that you wouldn't like to go to any of these behind-the-iron curtain countries. Is that because of your political views or just because you think they're so dull? No, no, I'm sure the great places probably are. It's just the, let's face it, in the just in the West, you know, people, just the governments and the people and everything are so screwed up anyway that, you know, I don't need to go to another politically screwed up place because, you know, it's hard enough having one place to look at that's screwed up. Well, I shall leave you know, and it's the sort of thing where you may or may not get back on the plane to come home.